once again, it's a blessing to have your attention, and hopefully these words make it worth your while. For time being so precious, not precious, I truly hate to wait. So with that being said, I'll get straight to the topic at hand. Not too long ago, I had a conversation with a few people concerning choices. Something we all have the power to make, no matter what the situation may be. They disagreed, which was their choice and their right. Their belief is their belief, just like mine is mine and yours is yours. You see, the thing is, when it comes to choices, we might not want to make them, but they have to be made. And sometimes our hands are forced, and we end up doing things that we really don't want to do. Like when you have nothing to eat, but you have a family who depends on you to feed them. Instead of suffering even further personally, or having your spouse and kids suffer with you, you make a decision to do what you never imagined yourself doing. And maybe, just maybe, those actions involve you breaking the law. Maybe even more than one. But what else can you do other than give up and give in? You exhausted all of the legal avenues within your reach and found no help. You barely found any sympathy. What you want to do is right. As you know, that to suffer daily isn't any kind of living when it comes to this life. Unless you're the type who just loves to suffer. Now that's a whole other matter. But if you're not, then you're obviously choosing life over death until death chooses you. Because we're all going to die at some point in time. And that is the only time you don't get a choice. It's all about what you're doing between the two points that define who you are. That's strictly my opinion, though. And right about now, you might be saying, see, Chris, there is a time when you, when you don't have a choice. All right, yeah, that's true. But I'm not speaking about what you can't control. I'm speaking about what you can control. Some nice throttle. Somebody else pointing out the same thing. But this is all about the day-to-day -day decisions. And outside of the back against the wall ones that have to be made, what are the reasons for the rest? Is it peer pressure? Is it some type of known or unknown fear? Is it based off a of desire, lust, a form of passion, love, hate, loyalty? Or is it done out of obligation? Maybe it's business or some type of principle. What about race, color, or religion? Or could it be the money, power, and respect? If not any of the above, then what about some type of materialistic need or want? Or maybe that certain decision is based off of a past event or maybe the future. Only the, the decision maker truly knows that some choices come with multiple reasons, even those we don't fully understand ourselves. And sometimes the choices that we make cause us to forget who we are and who we really want to be. Sometimes our choices can have us so wrapped up in the next person or in the next moment that we find ourselves living for them or it. Now, if that's what you want, then that's what you want. I'm not here to judge or to persecute. I'm just saying we all have a choice, no matter what they're influenced by. And there are times when our choices do us more harm than good, especially when they're made under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Now, either you know this from personal experience, like myself, or you will witness it by some other means, also like myself. And those intoxicated decisions can lead to an ocean of regrets, broken relationships, job losses, or confessions that should have never been confessed. And the reason for that intoxication doesn't even matter at that moment, even if it's addiction. So you know the choices that led up to the addiction don't matter at least not to the offended. Only the actions or the words being spoken at that point in time do. Things that could even land a person in the criminal system where one bad decision just leads into another. And I'm not saying that it's all on the individual who spoke or acted out loosely or that there aren't any good choices that don't get made. As humans, things always tend to go both ways no matter what side of the law you're on. And in life, being that anything can happen at any given time, episodes have a habit of escalating way too quickly. They come one second after another, with some being easier than others. Even now, you have to choose whether you want to listen to my next words or not. But I'm thinking, hold up. You still with me, right? All right, then let's go. I know that we as a people hear things repeatedly throughout life. 
that's just delivered in many different ways. Maybe we take heed to the message then and there. Maybe we won't. Because I don't know how many times I've heard my parents or my grandmothers or my aunts, uncles, or some older person tell me, I've been where you've been, so you better listen. Well, I can honestly say that I should have listened. But when you're a kid, especially a teen, the only voice you're really trying to hear is your own and the ones belonging to the people you hang around. It's like outside of your family. The environment that you grow up in is the magic that you want. No matter how tainted it may be. And sometimes the more tainted it is, the more drawn you become. Not in every case. But either way, environmental influence is so crucial in the child's upbringing. And that's like so many people forget that. As if they were never kids themselves. As if they don't know that that's when some of the worst decisions get made. Because during that time, we're still trying to figure out who we are and where we belong. The more traumatic the environment, the longer the search takes. And every step that's taken is based off of what we've always known. And while we're trying to adjust and readjust, the world just keeps on moving. And if we end up in the criminal system, it's just a move from one traumatizing environment to another. A place where making wrong choices become the right choices. All in the name of survival or for whatever other reason an individual choosing to attach to it. But not in any case. There always seems to be one exception, and sometimes even more, who move past that who move past that little area. The ones who make the choice to be better than they were the day before. Even when they're facing death. Which doesn't make sense to a lot of people. It's like, why would you want to better yourself when you're gonna die? Something I've heard most of the times over the years and by prison guards at that, directly and indirectly. And do you want to know my response? If I choose to get one, come on. Bring a little close. Are you living? I said because I choose to. Remember, no matter what the situation is, you always have a choice. As long as there's something to choose from, it's just, it's just up to you to choose. Thank you once again for choosing to hear me. Till the next time.